U.S. Congress has voted to commence an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. House Republicans haven't had the numbers to take this step towards the impeachment of President Biden, but today formalised the inquiry with a vote of 221 to 212. Our Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen joins us live now. What does this actually mean for President Biden, Annalise? Look, this is only the eighth time in US history that an impeachment inquiry has been opened into a president. And what it does is gives Congress newfound powers to investigate the Biden family and issue and enforce those subpoenas. This vote happening in Congress today was a big deal. House Republicans haven't had the numbers to do this before. And this was initiated by the former Speaker, Kevin McCarthy. So to have Mike Johnson come in now as the new speaker and get this across the line shows that Republicans are united on this front to get this vote happening at this time. It's also notable that it's come at the same time that Hunter Biden was subpoenaed to appear before House Republicans and declined to do so, instead doing a press conference outside saying he's happy to go to a public hearing but won't take a deposition behind closed doors. For six years, I've been the target of the unrelenting Trump attack machine shouting, where's Hunter? Well, here's my answer. I am here. Let me state as clearly as I can. My father was not financially involved in my business, not as a practicing lawyer, not as a board member of Burisma, not in my partnership with a Chinese private businessman, not in my investments at home nor abroad, and certainly not as an artist. This is an investigation about public corruption at the highest levels. We have accumulated mountains of evidence that's concerning to an overwhelming majority of Americans. We have specific questions in there, and I think we're going to allow you in there to see the uh, piles and piles of documents, of bank statements, of emails, of text messages that we've worked very hard on in this committee over the last eight or nine months. Uh, we expect to depose the president's son, and then we will be more than happy to have a public hearing with him. Earlier today, the president's press secretary was asked about the impending vote on the impeachment inquiry and also the issues with Hunter Biden and whether there was any response from the president. Here's what Corinne Jean-Pierre had to say. The president was certainly familiar uh, with what his son was going to say. And I think what you saw was from the heart from uh, his son. And you've heard, uh, you've heard me say this, you've heard the president say this. Uh, when it comes to the president and the first lady, they are proud of him uh, continuing to rebuild his life. They are proud of their son. The president, I've been very clear, the president's not gonna pardon his son. Laura, what this does mean is this will refocus Republicans on this issue in the coming election year and all but certain now that Hunter Biden will be forced to testify in public at some point with these new subpoena powers. Oh, what will we watch? It's Trump's legal woes and Hunter Biden, both uh, publicly in the spotlight. Greedy for fun. Annalise, thank you. You'll be a busy lady.